yourself, watch yourself, watch yourself. Every move is calculated before. You know, all the cement trucks have certain paths to follow. All the pumpers do the right thing. It's like an opera or a ballet. And over 2,000 concrete truckloads were delivered to this site and placed in the foundation for the building. But it's the first time I've ever seen a USC marching band welcome the concrete trucks to the site. To actually see the hole dug <laughs> that deep, being filled with concrete and a mount of rebar and all of that, it was probably one of the first feelings I had that this was actually going to happen. Um, so pr pretty spectacular. So when you look at a time-lapse video, it looks to me like a daddy long legs trying to knit a sweater on his belly. These arms moving around so quickly all over the site. It was really a, an impressive achievement. On that day, there was a world rec record uh, broken. Uh, we had uh, 2,260 yards that we poured. Uh, apparently, that's the Guinness Book World Record right now that still stands. We are uh, in the foundation portion of the job, still excavating, pouring footings. Uh, we are going vertical over on the, on the uh, core. We've got a couple walls coming up. You know, we're high professionals as to what we do. And to have our members here in the building trade, per se, but our members as what we represent, uh, I mean, uh, you feel pride, very proud. To have people like you and others that, uh, you know, keep them updated on, yeah. on the safety, uh, because it's not about just getting in and uh, you know getting out it's, yeah. it's keeping in mind that this is a project where there's many hazardous uh, situations that if we're not taking care of uh, you know we can get others hurt or hurt, uh, ourselves. hurt ourselves yeah. yeah I used to do the same thing I took it upon my own as a foreman to make sure that everything was ready for the concrete Uh, Guillermo and uh, Alonso, and uh, there's another guy up on the top with the radio. You got two pros here, and especially working with something like that. It's it's uh, it's important to have the people that know exactly what they're doing. Uh, that's great. I came to this country and I began working. I was 17, like my son perfect example. So 17 years old and then I start working on janitor, you know. After that I I met my wife. That's when I start working for the local 300. Me da tristeza saber todo toda esa historia, este, pero también me siento muy orgullosa de él porque eh, yo sé que él uh, pasó tiempos muy difíciles en su país. I'm from one of the part uh, from El Salvador what they call Morazán. That was one of the bad area, so I grew up there. Él siempre ha sido una persona bien trabajadora, este, siempre se ha esforzado por por darnos lo mejor y y sí, uh, tomó el consejo de de mi cuñado y entonces él desde entonces uh, pues está en en la unión en el local 300. It's a little difficult because I have to clean in between those elevator shafts, which is you got to be very careful, you know, with the machine. It won't hit anything, you know, or run over something, you know. So it's a lot of responsibility, you know. I understand that he's really hard working. You know, he wakes up sometimes three in the morning, sometimes, you know, sometimes earlier, depending on what time he has to get to work. And then along with my mom, you know, she always gets up, always to, to make, she'll make him food at night, and then she'll get up in early mornings of the day to uh, send him off to work. He always tells me he wants me to do uh, much better than he did. But honestly, uh, I think my dad is doing really well right now. I'm really, I'm really proud of him. Like, I understand that he's hard working. He, he wakes up every morning and, and goes to work and he may be really tired at times, but as a man, I really do respect him because of how, how far he's gone, you know? And if, if anything, I, I want to be more like him. I told him, I don't want you to do what I do. I want you to, you know, study, go to college. You grow up in a great country, you know, and, and uh, so I don't have all the opportunities, you know, to go to school here. You have to be proud that the job that you do, they, they might look at you like you're dirty, you know, or, you know, sweating or whatever, but uh, I feel proud that I do something just to feed, to feed my family, to bring food on the table and had a, you know, had a roof. I feel proud of myself. 
uh, you know, for the job that I do. Friday, I, she makes some uh, tostadas. I told them, hey guys, help yourself if you want, which is ceviche is the best thing that she, she knows how to make, the ceviche, you know, <laughs> the, the real one. We used to sit down and if you had burritos or sandwiches or sometimes even, believe it or not, shrimp cocktails. I mean, some people went all out and brought good food. That's the good thing about uh, these sites and, uh, and the good relationship that you build with workers. To me, family is really important. It's the basic foundation of everything where you learn your principles with family, you know? You, you grow up with your family. You never stop learning. Like not even my, my parents, you know, you learn every day and you learn with your family because you guys grow together. I help my parents and at the same time, you know, I support my family. For me, the family is very important. That's part of my life. That's why I work hard, you know, and every day I, I know I have to support my parents. I know I have to feed my family here too, you know, and so, number one, family. Morning. 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 Morning.
pues me da realmente orgullo trabajar con Turner. Y con mi compañía también, Park West Landscape. Another. 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 Voy a traer a mi familia, sí, realmente, sí, sí la voy a traer. La voy a traer ya que termine el trabajo y les voy a decir aquí, pues yo fui parte de este proyecto. When I meet other women, it gets me, um, I get happy, like, you know, to meet another woman, to see another woman. I, I go and greet them right away and introduce myself to them because it feels good to see another woman in the job site. At the Labor's Boot Camp, we had um, different pallets. Uh, one was made out of um, concrete bricks and one was the sandbags and the other was careful planks, yeah. And we had to carry those um, 25 feet and then carry them back and forth four days. So I think it's more like a mind thing. If you don't quit, then you're good. I was a bus driver before for 15 years, and now I'm at this trade as a construction worker, and um, I'm from Local 300. I'm proud of this job because I'm hands-on. I'm doing it different every day. I have two boys. I have a, a Enrique and Brian Carrillo. One, my older boy is 17 and my youngest is 13. It's changed my life financially, yes. For Christmas, we went for a big bear. I don't know, we just done more, more activities. What I like about being in the union is that they support each other. I like going to the meetings just to get information. I like talking to everybody that I know and you know, you feel more closer to the, to the union with all the brothers and sisters. And everything's going good for me right now, so I just thank God for that. and. I just leave everything in God's hands. You gotta act on your feet, be quick. In construction, you definitely gotta use your brain all the, all the time. I mean, like everything, that's like your most important tool is your brain. With the economy and the way it is today, the kind of jobs that are out there, I mean, you wanna work at McDonald's or do you wanna get into a trade? If you don't have the, the union there to, to back you up, your seniority, to keep you working, you retire with nothing. You have just your, your social security and that's it. I tell my kids, my son, six years old, he, you know, he knows that I'm a construction worker. He always told me, hey, dad, you're a worker. I try to tell him, you know, the kind of things that's going on here on the job, you know, that we're working. This is a historic project. He'll be able to come here with his family, you know, when I'm long gone. <laughs>